Hi, I'm Lee Control and to demonstrate how to build a Java Docker container. Um, I recorded this video for a class to teach at Pittsburgh Technical College called Intro to Computer Systems. So we're going to build a Docker container. My objective is to show you how to create a container. We're going to show you how to build a doc file with define some Docker file commands, and I'll show you the link to the other ones. Uh, we'll build and test the container. When all is said and done, we'll push the container. All right, so here's the overview of the steps. Create a work folder to do all your Docker creation in. Don't try to do this in your main folder where your code currently exists. Move your app to the work folder. Uh, you have to decide on the base image. I'll show you how to do that in this video. Uh, we'll create the Docker file. We'll build the image. That takes some time, so the video will pause when I do that. Um, we'll run the Docker to make sure it works. If it doesn't work, we'll figure out what we did wrong. When we're all happy, we'll push it up to the hub. All right, so each container build should have its own folder. And I'll use a unique doc file per folder. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio Code. I recommend getting Visual Studio Code for this. There it is. I've already opened my folder, my Docker lecture folder. I'm going to create a new folder for this. I'm going to call it Java Container. And I know, oops, I just created the wrong thing. It's a file. I want to create a folder. So I'm going to create a folder. I'll call it Java Container. Call it whatever you want. Inside of here, I need to put some documents, and I need to put at least two files. I need to put a Docker file and the content itself. So let's go back and discuss here. So I'm going to move the app to my folder. Um, you don't do this until your app is ready to go. Uh, if you have any file structure like an HTML document with images and CSS folders, copy that over. I have a really simple main that I'm going to copy over. So I've got it here in downloads. My dog age file. I'm going to copy it. And I can do this in the terminal as well. Then we go to Docker Lecture. There's my Java container folder. I'm going to paste it. All right, so come back to here. And if you look at it, it's a basic Java app. It's going to ask me how old I am. And how old I am in dog years. So I make sure I run this thing. You always want to make sure that the code you put into your container works. So I'm going to do a quick run in this thing. Okay, not a quick run. There we go. Hold on I am ancient. I'm 53. So in dog years, I'm 371. I'm dead. All right, so my Java works. So I don't have to, if I have a problem, I know it's not the Java. Uh, we'll decide on the base image. There's a whole bunch of Docker images. Um, if you need a custom one, you just start with a bunch and then install stuff on top. That takes some effort. Um, Docker search, whatever language you want, is a good start. Uh, once you have a choice, you read the Docker page. Now, what's critical is you have to understand, totally understand, how your image is structured and how it works. Uh, if you don't know, read the page you're on. So I'm going to drop back to my prompt. So I like to this prompt. I can also do this in the Google or in the Docker container. So I do a Docker search Java. A whole bunch of stuff comes down. What I'm looking for is this official. I prefer to use the official. All right, so Java's there, but oh, it says deprecate use OpenJDK. So Docker search OpenJDK. All right, all right, so ooh, look at that. Open GDK, it gives a description. 3,600 people said this is pretty good. It's official. I'm happy with it. Other choices are Eclipse, and there's a variety of them. I tend to stick with the ones that are official, because then I don't have to worry about them being bad. So now I need to go find how to use this thing. So I'm going to go Google it. And you search for Open GDK, and you look for the Docker page. And it's, oh, poop, it's deprecated. Now, you can still use it, but deprecation means eventually support for this will drop out. And it's your call. I'm not going to teach a deprecated one, so I'm going to try Eclipse. Now, I did get Eclipse to work. The others are just as good. I like Eclipse. I'm going to go with Eclipse. All right, so now this one's not deprecated. It's an official image. It's got 360 stars. 50 million people have used this. It's probably okay. All right, so what you have to do is you have to read. 
Now, you can jump down to the overview. It tells you what it does. And then, more importantly, it shows you how to build the image. And this, what it gives you is the Docker file. Now, I'm going to modify my Docker file a little bit because I'm, I don't have a jar file. I have a Java file, so I'm going to modify this. But this is a very basic, simple way to set this up. And then it gives an example of how to get this to run. So this is very important. Scroll down and read it. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it Docker file. Now I have, as you see, I've got extensions installed. Watch your case. Linux is case sensitive and Docker is case sensitive. So I'm going to paste my object in here. Okay, so now this is my Docker file. This will almost work. I'm going to come back to my notes. I'm going to define each one of these. So we're building the Docker file. And as it says here, this is the hardest part of Docker. This is what's going to keep you up at night. Uh, I can do a simple one here. These get challenging. All right, so Docker file is a blueprint for image. Here's the same picture I just put there, except I modified mine. This is my finished version. I don't have a jar file. I can build one. I'm just lazy. Uh, I'm going to use my Java file that's there. So the Docker file is a text document. It does not have an extension. It's just Docker file. It describes the base image, which is what this from line is. It describes files and folders. So it made a directory called opt app because that's what Eclipse wants. I didn't decide that. Eclipse to mirror once and they told me in the page to do this. Now, you can probably do this other ways, but I'm always going to follow the documentation. I copy my main file into the folder once, and then I run this command. So the from line lists the base image. My base image is Eclipse Tamarin colon 11. So it's set up image name colon version. This specifies use Java 11. If you're a Java programmer, you know there's JDK 11, 20, and a whole bunch of them. I'm picking 11. If you want to just come with the newest, just go image name colon latest. Copy, copies the stuff, in my current folder to the image. Now recall, I see this in Visual Studio Code, where is it? There it is. I have main file and Docker file in the same folder. That's an assumption here. Now if you created subfolders, you'd have to make sure you set this up correctly. So what I want to copy there is not jop.jar, it's main.java. This is the file I'm copying. This is what is running. If this thing was called dog.java, I'd copy dog.java. You have to understand how the app works. And again, read the description of the Docker file command. CMD is the command that runs. Essentially, I want to run Java and I'll run main.java. Now, I got this because I know how Java works in the command prompts. So, Java, I don't want a minus jar because I don't have a jar file, so I don't need that switch. It is then again, jap.jar, it's main.java. Now, I said it before, and I'll say it again. Linux is case sensitive. So, if you have a capital M in your file, make sure you have a capital M everywhere. You may think, oh, uppercase, lowercase M's are the same thing. No, they're not. They're completely different ASCII values. All right, if you want more about this, visit this website. There are many, many, many other Docker file commands. As you come across them, read them. Again, yeah, Docker files are hard. All right, so now we have to finish and push this. Basically, you're going to run a command similar to this. Docker build minus T. Give it a name. This is my username. I always start with your username slash and what it is. Now I'm running Java dog age. Now I already had this is an old command. I'm going to run Java dog age eclipse or two or something so I know it's a newer one. Dot says you run the current folder. That's an old school command. Now this takes a long time. So when I run this, I'm going to pause my video and let it chug. It's going to take up to a minute depending on how big your image is. So I'm going to come back to my command prompt. I'm going to cd into the Java folder I created. There's my two files there. And again, looking at my commands. Docker builds, minus T. Call it Java dog H2, and then dot signify pull from the current folder. Now, as I run this, 
to start building. Now, this went really fast because I just did this in practice. Uh, when I built this in practice, it took almost a minute for this to download. And what it's doing when it downloads is it has to download this Eclipse Timber in size 11. It'd have to download anything else you have from there. And that could take some time. So it went fast because I just did it. If it takes a while for you, it's, it's all right. You'll know it fails. You'll get red blood. It'll just scream at you and tell what's wrong. You'll have to fix it. And fixing it can be a challenge. All right, so we have it down. Now we test it. Now, just because a build doesn't mean it's right. So run minus IT. That's for interactive terminal. Uh, minus RM, then the name you gave it. So again, so we see your command. RN minus I, T. You can also do minus I, minus T, whichever you prefer. Minus plus RM. The reason you have one minus sign, one minus minus, is minus is an older command. It's a single or oldest parameter, sorry, it's a single letter parameter, minus, minus, and multiple parameters. Java dog H2. All right, so I forgot the word docker in front of it. Okay, so you see this is the same program we ran at the beginning. How old am I? I'm still 53. I haven't aged that quickly. I'm still 371. All right, so the container works. This is the minus RM. It stops and it's gone. It's not sitting there in memory waiting for this thing to finish. So now I need to push it. You have to log in first. So I'm going to do a Docker login, and then I'm going to push it. I'm already logged into my Docker desktop. If you're not, it'll force you to do some login stuff here. This can take a minute. So it puts this up. It takes a few minutes. I haven't tested this one, so this may take a while. Oh, look at that. It's done. And then if I search for it, It might take a minute for this to appear because it does take a few minutes for that site to update. But in a few minutes, I will be there. All right, so you've seen how to build an image, how to create a Docker file, how to test the image, and how to push the image. Um, going forward, you know, know everything you need to build your own containers. Thanks for listening. Good luck.